Hi everyone, so do you have a motorcycle with Data Tool System 3 alarm? Do you hate it? Does it annoy you? Well if it does, you're like me and you want to get rid of it. So you've got two options, you can go to a dealer and pay £200 for removing it. And I know what I'm talking about because I've been quoted £200 by a local Kawasaki dealer to remove it. Or you can do what I did. I basically found a little post on the internet about how to disable it permanently and guess what, it actually worked. So here's how you do it. So this is your uh, Data Tool System 3 alarm box. I basically put some tape on this speaker here because uh, it might start yelling so that will reduce it by some degree. And then you basically put it in a service mode which normally allows you to work on your motorcycle. Uh, this will then mean motorcycle, sorry, the alarm will beep every 30 seconds or one minute, I can't actually remember. So it still will be annoying but this is going to be the last time you'll hear it. So you basically unscrew those four little screws in the corner then you take off those bigger bolts which are those here and then you basically open the box and as you can see there's those two white connectors uh, the one on the left is the wider one it's got eight holes and the one on the right it's got um, six holes and this is the one you've got to take out all right and all you've got to do, you've got to bridge the first two holes and the last two holes with a wire. So this is going to be one, two, five and six. So first, second, fifth and sixth, you've got to bridge them. Just like that. Can you see this? Okay, once you've done that, squeeze it back in there. Like that. Then there's going to be this tiny little, I don't know how to call it, there's going to be this tiny little clip here which you need to take out. That's what it looks like. All right. You take this out and that is your job done. And all you've got to do now, close it all. Put the screws back in and that's it that's your alarm gone it will never yell again and why do you want to do it well first of all this fucker drains the battery second of all it's really annoying because it, it sounds when you don't want it to sound and even if you put it in service mode especially with that one data tool system 3 it still makes this very audible sound every 30 seconds which is just a pain in the ass i hope you find this video helpful thanks for watching